everyone, I'm Holly. Welcome to Pack and Chat, part two. This first order is headed to David in Canada. Thank you for your order. I'm going to try to downsize it from the large flat rate that he was charged and try to get it into a medium. So we have three figgy creams. I think I can get four. Yes, I can get four. So let's put the frosted cherry. We have one frosted cherry. We'll put it on the bottom and then we're going to flip this figgy over. Okay. We have, let's see. See how I want this all to go in. We have two strawberries and champagne. Strawberry champagne, I guess, I went with. And we have two River Rock. So, and those are. We have a Magnolia, so farmhouse collection. And then we have three of the anise soaps, and I called it star anise on my label, but anise just on the regular thing. Yes, this looks like it's going to fit just fine. So we also have three of the charcoal, and these are scented with a tea tree essential oil. Okie dokie, we have a figgy cream sugared whip soap scrub. We have a coffee bean ice cream sugared whip soap scrub. We have a watermelon lemonade sea salt soap. Tuck that one right there. So let's shift down just a little so we can get shred on the sides as well. since everything is going very well here. Yeah. I'm gonna fill in these gaps with the shred. This one is gonna take a while. It'll have to take a stop over in US Customs. And then it'll take a while probably clearing customs on their side. So these ones are always in for quite the journey. And then we have a Magnolia wax melt. And I did these just a real, in fact, I didn't even add green color. I added just a little bit of green mica for shimmer and it came out just kind of a nice light green, which is fun. I really like it and I think it goes quite nicely with that. So for samples, I'm going to put in a clean cotton from the farmhouse collection and a freesia from the farmhouse collection. Boy, both of those are just so good. That was a nice order, David. You did that really well. Nice and just everything just fit perfect. <laughs> Sometimes they get international or Canadian orders and they get a little confusing because I'm trying to just like piece everybody in, but this was just perfect. I'm gonna go in with my business card and the invoice. And I forgot to bring over my stickers again. <laughs> Pop on my little sticker. I have an outline of Montana and Missouri, and I am from Montana, and my husband is from Missouri, and we reside in Missouri. But the Missouri River starts, the headwaters are in Montana, and it ends in Missouri. So I just thought that was a fun thing, how it just like all comes together. So here we have the package. I bet you this video will 
precede this package arriving by quite a while. So I guess you'll see your package here, David. You'll see what samples you're getting and everything. And I'm gonna get this sealed up. I'm gonna have to go work on the customs. That usually takes me a little while. And I'll get this ready while it's all fresh in my mind. This order is going to Natalie and Ellie. Thank you for your order. I am going to put in a tickled pink soap and a strawberry champagne soap. Put those here together. Gonna add a little bit of shred over here on the side. And then we have a green apple bath fizzy. So cute. This just gives it a little extra protection. Let's see. Let's put the, no. Put a little shred in. We need to make sure this is nice and nested. Feels good. Put a little shred over here on the side. And then I'm gonna put the invoice and the business card over the top here. Got a little bit more right there. Let's see how we wanna do this. And then I'm gonna tuck in a blueberry soap sample. And get this closed up. I love all order sizes. It's such fun to pack big orders, but then also very nice to pack small ones too. Cause I'm like, ooh, check that one off the list. It didn't take me very long. I have a lot of orders to get through and I'm really, so thankful for them. This order is headed to Stephanie in New York. Hello and thank you for your order. We have a peach and lemon farmhouse soaps. We have sweet pea and the watermelon lemonade sea salt soap. That'll be fine. I was debating moving because I like to have scents all together. All right, let's put in that right there. So we have a peach salted whipped soap scrub. Those are made with salt as opposed to sugar. And I didn't specifically make them part of the farmhouse collection, just like the wax melts because there's no milks in them, but it was kind of going along the same lines. So we're gonna put in two peach bath fizzies. Love this paper. Why, why can't I find the bath fizzy? Here it is. I stand that one there and then I'm going to stand this one right next to it. Those spots both have a, just a little bit more room. Let's do, I'm just going to do this this time. I'm not ready to put in my invoice quite yet. Make sure they're nested in there nicely. Okay. Now these should still sit on top. Yes, that'll be fine. So we have two of the green apple bath fizzies. Put 
this one right here. And let's see how this one's gonna go. I, there's an edge there. And that's a little close to the top. Hmm. There we go. That'll work just great. So I thought I'd put in a nice chunk of lilac soap. I purposely scented these a bit lighter so they're so it's not as strong. Lilac can get just a bit chemical like if it's too strong. It still feels a lot of the pressure is going to be going on the bath bomb as is. So that's why I'm putting in a bit more here around it. Let's just go ahead and use this. I had this other piece here. Let's just go ahead and put that there to help support that bath bomb. We have the invoice and a business card. I just love this paper. It matches the whole farmhouse collection. And we're gonna go in with the sticker. And here we have Stephanie's package prepared and ready to go. This next one is going to Kayla in Kentucky. Thank you for your order. And I have a coffee soap here, so I am going to wrap it up. The coffee is fairly strong, and so I do feel like this will help just a little. I guess I could show you. This is the kitchen coffee, and it's the one with the grounds and everything that we, I'm pretty sure I made it on video. I don't even remember anymore. Maybe it was in a, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was on one of those old vlogs. I'll have to go look. It took us so long to get to this release that I'm starting to forget the details. Because most of these soaps I made clear back in December. So there, that one's all wrapped up. Okay. So we're going to put in a river rock in a flannel and amber and this is my uncle in Montana's favorite soap scent and when my boys use this scent they smell quite delightful so I love that flannel and amber that was a custom blend I'm just gonna keep on making that one as long as I can and then we have let's go ahead and put in we have a golden oats that was made with oat milk and then the coffee and I had attempted to make a video for this, and I can't remember what happened, but it was a no-go. Let's see here. We have, let's put that coffee towards the bottom, actually. Then we have the frosted cherry. We have figgy cream. And we have strawberry champagne. We're going to put that there. We have a lemon farmhouse soap and a juicy. That one was super amazing. And then the watermelon lemonade sea salt soap. We're going to just tuck that here on the side. We have a figgy cream sugared whip soap scrub. Put that there. And then we need some shred down in this section over here and this should still go yes that still goes quite nicely there so we have a blueberry bath fizzy we're just going to wrap it to give it some extra protection here 
And I don't think I picked out any samples for this one yet. So I'm going to have to go back and dig around and see what I think. I'm going to put in a blueberry sample and an unscented kefir. The blueberry is kind of on the smaller side, so we're going to put in the kefir one. I love this soap. It is so nice and comforting. I mean, I love them all, but there's something about an unscented soap that just feels extra comforting, so I love that one. And boys, business card. And then this one will be ready to go off to Kayla in Kentucky. So starting this last one for this video and it's going to Sharice in, I hope I'm saying your name right, in a Colorado and she watches with her little girl. And I am just so happy that you guys can watch my videos with your kids. I just think that that's so cool because I watch a lot of stuff with my little gal too. So I'm glad that we're family friendly around here. Okay, so this order has a lot of soap and I'm hoping I can fit it into this box, but we'll see. We have three of the lemon farmhouse soaps. Smells so good. This was a new blend. I'm trying to remember what I did, but it was it was really good. Anyway, <laughs> we have three of the watermelon soaps. I remember being discouraged because I didn't like the color of the watermelon on this one, but it still looks pretty good. And then the same with the peach. I didn't quite get the color I wanted on the peach, but it's still really nice. So we have three of the peach farmhouse soaps also. We have, let's actually put the blueberry. We have four of the blueberry soaps. So we're gonna put that there and then We'll tuck him right there. So now I'm sitting here thinking that this isn't going to work because I expected to be able to put those on the top. Hmm. Now we have a lot of soap. We'll try it, but I don't think this is going to work. We'll probably have to redo this one. And then we have Magnolia soaps. Three of those. Yeah, this is just... We are going to have to upgrade. We're Colorado, I said. Okay, let's, let me think about this one for a minute. I'm upgrading this box to a regional rate B. I just checked the cost of shipping and a B is still fine. Sometimes if you get a little too far outside of my region, the B is too expensive and so it's better to go with the medium. But we were still fine going to Colorado. <laughs> My uh, my former brother-in-law called it Colorado, and that just really stuck with us. We're like, it's time to go Colorado. <laughs> we know how to say it right. Going to Colorado. It's kind of like in Missouri. People call it Missouri, and I've never really liked it, so it probably is a little bothersome that I said that about Colorado. So I'm sorry if that's bothersome. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. We're getting everybody in nicely. Oh yes, this is going to be much better. And then we're gonna put in these blueberries. So actually, we can move these away from the edge just a little bit. It's starting to get hot in here. I'd turn off my air conditioner too. Do these videos because I'm up in the attic if it's 
upper 50s to 60 to 70 it is hot up here so i have to turn on my window unit i've tried just to do like the vent and the fan and that just doesn't just doesn't cut it all right so let's see how we want to do that let's do that so that's all the blueberries i feel like i need to get my shred in back here so that i can push him back Some over on the side. Let's do the peach. These are wax melt clamshells. And I'm actually going to face them this way. And then we have two of the watermelon clamshells. Those both smell so good. I mean, they all do, you know, but... Those are kind of my favorite ones, too. I think that's it. Did I get it all in? This box is empty and now prepped for another order. So it's been a good day. It's been a productive day. And this old bottom of mine is tired. It is nearly 6 p.m. I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight. I have some sweet potatoes I probably ought to get out. Do something with some sweet titers. All right, it looks like I'm still is like putting in so much shred, but <laughs> I'm just not getting that much with each one. Okay, so let's put in, I've got a fairly sizable chunk of lilac soap. So I'm going to put that in, and then we're going to put in a strawberry rhubarb pie little wax melt sample. That looks good. In with the invoice, and I think I will probably end up patting this top just a little bit more with some of this business. And then this one will be ready to go to Colorado. Tuck in just a little bit more of that on the top. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this pack and chat part two. I do believe I will have a three and four as well. I'll see you then. Bye.